Okay, hello. My name is uh, Alex Stenner, and today we will be discussing The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. I will mostly be uh, focusing on the main character, Holden Caulfield. Uh, Holden experiences many trials and obstacles on a short excursion into the Big Apple. Holden has recently been kicked out of his fourth consecutive high school and just can't bear to face his parents and tell them the sad truth. He instead takes a mental health trip to the city where we watch his sorry, we watch him slowly unravel and spiral into depression and possible insanity. Uh, one aspect of Holden's personality that I find most interesting and worth looking into that he is constantly pushing people away and alienating himself. Holden meets up with several old friends and acquaintances in his mental vacation. He never ceases to uh, kind of mention yeah, how phony they all are and how much he dislikes them. However, why would he contact these people in the first place? Holden is in what I believe to be a desperate cycle of depression. Now let me explain. Now, Holden, I think, wants to see people and talk to people, but he is so negative and harsh that it turns most people off, and he ends up changing his mind and deciding he'd rather be alone. You see this with, uh, this, you know, day with Sally, that goes horribly wrong, his phone calls with Jane, of course, even his interaction with Phoebe, we see, and Carl, and anyone at any of his schools, Mr., and the list goes on of people. <sighs> and, yeah, like I said, after that he just decides, oh, no, now now I want them back, and I would rather, I wish I'd, like, oh, shucks, I'd wish I'd been with them now. And I think he has a serious problem with letting people change and seeing them go, but he doesn't seem to be able to stop them. Now, I believe this all started when he lost his brother, Allie. Since then, Holden has felt that attaching himself to other people was pointless, and that it wouldn't get you anywhere. Sad thing to think about. Um, he says at the very end of the story, there's a quote. Don't ever tell anybody anything. If you do, you start missing everybody. Now, that's pretty deep, and Holden is so afraid, I think, to let people into his life, because he's fearful that one day he's going to miss them. And, at some points... This is a pretty sad story to read, if you really connect with Holden, especially on a personal level. And you feel for Holden, and you yearn for him to change his ways and get along. You're pushing for him to just, like, please call his girl and just not be such, you know, a jerk about everything. And it's hard to see, actually, especially when you connect with this character, which I think a lot of people, especially teenagers, do connect with Holden as a character. Um... But, at the same time of it being a kind of depressing story of his trials, uh, you also kind of admire his spirit and the fact that he doesn't let any of the mishaps or unfortunate encounters, uh, Maurice the Elevator Man, for one, slow him down. Holden has this one thing in his life that, is very, that he's very passionate about, and that's his little sister Phoebe. And that's something that is that's really admirable to me, especially. Um, it's just another shining example of the good side of Holden's personality when we see him interact with Phoebe. He's energetic, happy, he's dancing, and for once, he isn't complaining about everything. We see Holden at one of his weakest and most humiliating moments at this point in the book. Holden is nearly broke and breaks down and asks Phoebe if he can borrow any money. I mean, imagine having to ask your little sister for money so you can go get a cab to go off to... Central Park, or the middle of town. And not only that, but it's her Christmas money that she's been saving. I mean, he's supposed to be taking care of her. And, ugh, oh, it's just horrible to see. You feel for him. It's humiliating. But, of course, it happens. And she insists that he takes the money. And what else are you going to do at that point? And Holden truly loves his sister Phoebe. And that may be the one solid thing in his life that he can kind of attach himself to that he knows, for at least for now, isn't changing. Of course, we see he uh, is afraid of that changing as well, as we see later, of course, Carousel Ride, and uh, this one thing after another leads to his downfall. 
Um, I just really think Holden needs a foundation in his life. If I had to prescribe anything for him, he needs a foundation. And he just can't seem to find one because he's so afraid of everyone changing and he's afraid he's going to lose everyone that he tries making his foundation. Well, Holden's story is pretty dramatic and sometimes sad, but it's still one of the most interesting stories and one of the most fascinating characters of literature that ever be told. And that is something that J.D. Salinger can be proud of. Uh, and that is all for today, everyone. I'll see you next time.